In this video, we'll cover initial setup and management for the VESA series. How to create this array and logical drive. Let's log into WebPen Pro E using the default account. Administrator. The password for administrator account is password. There are three options for array configuration. In this demonstration, we'll use advanced configuration to show the full selection of configuration options. Click on next, enter an alias for the array and select the hard drives. Click on next for logical drives creation. Enter an alias for a logical drive and choose the array level. Change the stripe size according to the VMS requirement if needed. Click on Update. Then click on OK in the dialog message about choosing sector size for the logical drive with certain OS and HPA. We'll use default sector size. Click on Submit to complete the process. How to confirm and format disk? Next, we go to Disk Management and initialize the disk with GPT. Click on the unallocated partition and create a new simple volume. Follow the steps using the volume wizard to create an NTFS file system. This is where you should specify allocation unit size if required for the VMS. How to set up hot spare? We click on spare drive and click on create. Specify spare type to be global. Check the box and specify spare type to be reversible too. Click on update and submit to complete the process. How to set up spare check and media patrol schedule? Click on a local host and scheduler and add the schedule here. We can enable the schedule and specify the start time to be daily, weekly, or monthly, and the range of recurrence. Click on submit to complete. Now, add the media patrol schedule here. Spare check and media patrol can be triggered manually. How to use performance monitor? The live performance monitor tool is under administrative tool. Click on it and select what we are going to monitor for logical drives and hard drives. The options include IOPS, average latency, maximum latency, and so on. How to create user with different permission. User management is located in administrator tools. Click on create to create one user with username, password, display name, and permission level. Super is the highest level of user privilege. View user permission allows only viewing configuration settings. How to export import configuration and user database. Click on the administrator tool menu. Export encrypted configuration and user database.
or import back if the configuration or user database is missing. How to update software package First, download the software package, known as the RAID driver package from the Promise website. Go to www.promise.com and click on Support. Click on VES and locate VES A3120 for this training video. Download VES A3120 RAID drivers located under Drivers. Once it's downloaded, run it with Windows Administrator permission. And follow the steps until it's finished. Click OK to reboot the system. A BIOS update will be needed if an older BIOS version is detected during the process. After the reboot, log into Webham Pro E and confirm the version. How to enter a Promise command line interface? Open the command prompt and type COITEST. Type in default administrator account and password. Type help or a question mark to list all the commands available to manage the VSA series. How to set up email notification? Before setting up email notifications, we need to set up an email address for the administrator account. This is the only account that can receive the email notification. Under Administrator Tools, click on Software Management and Email. Specify SMTP Server IP Address, Port and Enable SMTP Authentication and SMTP Encryption. Under the sender address and send a test email. Go to User Management and click on Event Subscription which specifies what levels of events will be sent out. Info level includes all events. Where to check Promise Service? Each VES A series machine comes with a built-in Promise Service responsible for internal tasks. Promise I2 service is the communication between the RAID driver and software. Promise Apache service is for Web Pro E. The user could restart the service if certain software behavior is abnormal. How to manually rebuild with a replacing hard drive? Start rebuild in the background activity menu. Select the source physical drive and target physical drive. Click on Submit to complete the process. This concludes the initial VEST A series setup and management. In our next video, we'll show you how to contact top-notch Promise technical support for a VEST A series.